The US national debt has surpassed $35 trillion and is continuing to grow at an unprecedented rate of $1 trillion every 100 days. Now, this growing debt presents a very clear and present danger to the United States economy and dollar, where we're fast approaching a tipping point beyond which no amount of taxes or spending cuts can prevent a serious crisis, and Americans should prepare before those consequences hit. The US national debt currently stands at $35.26 trillion. This equates to about $104,000 per citizen. Now, meanwhile, the US federal tax revenue is roughly $5 trillion per year. This model is obviously unsustainable for much longer as we're growing the debt twice as fast as we're growing the economy. Now, to grasp the enormity of our debt, there's only about $450 trillion combined in the world. Our debt alone accounts for about 7% of all the money in existence. The interest rate on our debt right now is already greater than our military spending, and over the next decade, interest is expected to double to $1.7 trillion. Now, it's very important to realize that prior to the year 2000, the annual deficits were turning into surpluses. National debt shrank over three years to around $5.6 trillion in 2000, and Alan Greenspan actually went as far as to say at the time that the debt could be paid off if the current policies continued, and we had a debt-to-GDP ratio of about 55%. Today, at $35 trillion, the debt to GDP ratio is 122% and rising. And for context, the debt to GDP ratio during World War II was only 106% of GDP. The University of Pennsylvania found that both Trump and Harris's proposals would increase national debt. Trump's would raise it by 9.3%, and Harris's would actually only add about 4.4%. The debt would expand more under Trump because he would make his 2017 tax cuts permanent, and he would also cut taxes on corporate income and Social Security benefits. Harris, however, would let those tax cuts expire and then raise taxes on businesses and high-income individuals, but at the same time, those taxes would be offset by more government spending. And so no matter who wins, the U.S. is headed for $50 trillion in debt by 2034. Some economists would say that the unique role of the U.S. in the world economy protects it from the consequences of runaway debt because we can simply print the dollar for next to nothing and then sell them to other nations for market value. But the de-dollarization movement from the BRICS nations and others could significantly undermine our protection. If the U.S. debt continues to reach extreme heights, other currencies may look like safer choices, and our debt will become an extreme liability when we can no longer force other nations to transact in our currency. At this stage, interest rates would skyrocket and send the country into a debt doom spiral. Now, on January 25th of 2025, the debt ceiling will need to be lifted again. And whoever is president on that day is very unlikely to take measures to reduce the national debt. Instead, we'll move closer to the most predictable crisis, one that can ruin the country and every American's financial future. And so if you're concerned about the growing national debt and the devaluation of the dollar, I'm Makai Block with American Hartford Gold. Give us a call today and we'll discuss how adding physical precious metals into your portfolio can give you the hedge that you need. Discover how gold can help you protect yourself and your family. Call today or visit our website for more information at AmericanHartfordGold.com.